so hello guys welcome back to my channel rejoicing face if you're new on this channel kindly hit the subscription button and also the bell next to the subscribe so you can be part of this lovely family first of all i just want to wish each and every one a happy 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 christmas in advance in today's video we have grilled chicken and I have a special ingredient to this, so just stay tuned and watch. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So just stay tuned. let's just get straight into the ingredients what do I have here I have here thyme so I'm just gonna use um, just a teaspoon of that and also a teaspoon of my ground ginger which is my ginger pepper yes so today I'm not using any fresh you know ingredients I'm just using the dry ones and I'm going to use also black pepper just a teaspoon of that so you can choose to use any ingredients that you want however I've changed my ingredients yes I'm making something new and um, yes I hope it turns out good and turns out nice so try this this is a must try because the chicken was so so nice trust me my husband loved it and I've added a teaspoon of my Italian garlic seasoning yes and now I'm going to add my ground nutmeg so I never knew you could use nutmeg for also dishes I only use it for, for pastries and that's it until I learned something new for my dixes I will introduce her to you guys in my separate cooking video so you guys can know what she's all about also my big secret so today my secret is out yes guys <laughs> <laughs> I love aromats yes so even though I don't use any other seasoning in my kitchen that must be in my kitchen cupboard so the last ingredient that I'm using is my suya pepper yes so I normally use my suya pepper for sometimes I use it for my kebab or any meat or any grilled meat or I normally use it for my kelewele which is my fried plantain yes and also i use my suya pepper for literally everything when it comes to meat that is what i always use because it's very you know it's not that hot but it's a little bit hot and i'm not a spicy girl so i do not go for you know any paprika or any chili pepper so i prefer using my suya pepper yeah so what i'm doing next is i'm adding my salt you need a pinch of salt not too much because all the ingredients contain salt already so you need just a pinch of it and what i'm doing next here is i'm just mixing them all together making sure that it's all combined so as you can see that is my seasoning so the next step here is my chicken so i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to wash this chicken and then we're going to season it and then grill it so that's my 10 chicken drumsticks and I've got my seasoning over there and my olive oil and also my baking tray yes what I'm doing here is I'm unboxing I don't know if it's the right word but I'm trying to unbox my chicken <laughs> yes I don't know if that's the right word but yes whatever it is I'm unboxing them so people tend to just use the chicken just as it is in the in the pack but what I normally do is I do not remove the skin entirely unless I'm trying to fry the chicken and then probably most of the times I remove the skin but this time around I'm just gonna leave the skin on 
but I'm just cleaning it up as you can see I'm trying to get any other things that I don't need on my chicken drumsticks so you can see mm, those needs to go off so I don't know if that's the feather or mm, yes yeah, so I'm just removing them off which you can still leave on but I prefer it removed yes so I'm still on trying to get all this cleared and then we are going to wash this all together if you're new on this channel kindly subscribe and join the family yes it's a happy family here <laughs> yes so the next step what I'm doing here is I'm going to add my lemon so I don't know if you guys do the same in your homes but I always wash my meat my chicken or even if it's fish I wash them I make sure I add my lemons first and also later on wash it and then wash it again and again and again so as you can see in the video I'm gonna wash this three times so the first I added my lemon I added one one lemon yes not half so I added a whole lemon to it so I just poured it on and then I've washed it once I'm gonna wash this again as you can see from the video so what I'm doing here is I'm washing it making sure that it's all clean and there is no that's men pithy beer or my chicken what I said I don't want any dirt <laughs> I don't want any dirt on my chicken yet so I'm making sure that it's well washed and cleaned before we can grow this chicken yes so I'm wanting to wash this I would probably say three times that should be enough yes making sure that there is no dirt on the chicken for you grilling it so before we begin to season our chicken you need to preheat your oven so I'm just gonna put this on for about uh, let's say for about you can put this on for five minutes just to heat it but I'll put it on for seven minutes yes so my next step here so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to clean my chicken I do not want my chicken to turn out too juicy yes so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to clean them up with my tissue yes so I'm just cleaning it up with a tissue you can clean this with a clean cloth if you do have that but what I'm doing is I'm using my tissue so I'm just cleaning them off little by little one by one yes and then making sure that there is no water on my chicken drumsticks so once I'm done I'm just gonna pour them back in the bowl and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to season my chicken So I'm not going to use all the seasoning because it's quite a lot and I'm just going to use half of it. So half of the seasoning should be fine. You don't want this to be too seasoning too much. Yeah, so I'm just seasoning it, making sure that the chicken is well seasoned. Yes. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing again. You go so how is your Christmas going are you guys having Christmas with your families are you alone what is going on what are you guys up to if you're alone out there you can link me up so we can you know spend the Christmas together maybe with a video call or let's say be friends on Instagram yes so just kindly check out description box and then do follow us on our social media handles and we can be friends together however if you're new on this channel once again kindly subscribe and join the fun I have a surprise for you all on 25th December you don't want to miss it so kindly subscribe tell a friend to tell a sister to tell a brother to tell an auntie a family member whoever to subscribe <laughs> yes we have a big surprise for you guys on the 25th so what I've done here is I've added my olive oil. I added just a teaspoon of it. And I'm going to transfer the chicken on my baking tray. And then what we need to do now is to just grill it. Yes, I'm going to turn it off for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, depending on how your oven is, I don't know what oven you've got. If you've got an oven with a, you know, mine is literally 
it's literally timed from 50 to 250 so I'm gonna put this on 180 degrees and then we're gonna grill this for 30 minutes yes so if you check it and it's, it's well grilled that's fine you can keep it as it is if it's not well grilled you can still put it back in for a few minutes for about 20 to you know 25 to 30 minutes again keeping an eye on it from time to time making sure that your chicken do not go bent yes you don't want to bend the chicken too dark yes so as you can see from the video I have put in or programmed my oven to 30 minutes yes and I'm going to close this let's look at this big chicken <laughs> so it's on 30 minutes after 30 minutes this is the outcome can you see even without too much oil look at how it's quite juicy but just a little bit just as I want it you want this to be crunchy but at the same time you do not want it to be too 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 dry so I'm just turning it upside down and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven and then grill it right so it's time now to put it back in So after 30 minutes, this is the grilled chicken. This is the outcome, guys. How do you see this chicken? This chicken is so tasty. Trust me, guys. It's delicious. Yep, so that's Mr. and Mrs. Essibay, Mr. and Mrs. Desmond and Ethel. This beautiful and this nice, you know, chopping board was given to us on our wedding day by my cousin. So stay tuned i'm just gonna garnish my chicken there it go that is the beautiful is it beautiful oh is that the right way wait 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 is it beautiful <laughs> yeah so that is my grilled chicken there i've tried to garnish it with spring onions my slices of lemon and then that's it you don't need much of the chicken and i've got my ketchup on the side you can enjoy this with ketchup with mayonnaise with stew with uh anything you can eat this chicken with you know um fried fried potatoes fried yam with plantain you know i'm a plantain lover so i would enjoy this with fried plantain or probably grilled plantain yes you can choose to eat this with rice with uh, anything the chicken the grilled chicken goes with anything you can even just to chew it just as it is with a ketchup just what i'm about to do yes so just just watch just watch <laughs> yeah so this is the end of the video guys i hope you guys try this out i don't know what kind of spices you use for your chicken as i said i always use different types of spices and this time around i've used these i hope you try this in your homes and if you try it and it's nice do you let us know on our social media platform on instagram follow the Essie Base, so underscore the Essie Base underscore on Facebook the Essie Base, and also here on YouTube as the Essie Base. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you've not done that yet. And if you're a returning subscriber, God bless you so 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 much for tuning in again to watch us. Merry Christmas in advance to everyone. Do share our video, and until next time, bye.